cool breeze glides softly over the virgin landscape, warm sunlight bathing the wildlife feeding below. Crickets chirp their melodies into the cool night air as the breeze follows the sun in its nightly rest. A calm gesturing pattern awards quiet spring weather to Indiana, with very little severe weather in the region for early May. But then, it changed. The rare blocking pattern brings wave after wave of destructive severe weather to the country in the last two weeks of May. If the state's targeted by tornadoes, high wind, and flooding, Indiana is in the crosshairs. The following documents the storms and devastation left by the May Rampage. The winds first shifted in mid-May, as the upper atmosphere blocking pattern took shape and sent the first wave of severe weather across the country. A cluster of thunderstorms in northern Indiana quickly organized into a damaging complex, which dove southward across the state as well as Illinois. A low-hanging shelf cloud engulfed the sky along the storm, a dramatic display of its enormity. It was an active day of weather in the region, but this was merely the beginning. A few days later, an unstable air mass and moderate wind shear joined to give Indiana its first widespread severe weather risk of May. Ominous clouds ruled the sky ahead of these storms, with summer reports of damaging wind and hail. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 8 miles west of Walton to 6 miles west of Frankfurt, moving east at 40 miles per hour. A spotter estimated 60 miles per hour winds in Florida at 5.14 p.m. sweep the afternoon sky as these storms push on into the evening hours, and some even begin to rotate, although none of them produce tornadoes. with the storm coming in now. The next day, dire warnings flash across the country's news outlets. This is the Storm Prediction Center calls for a massive tornado outbreak in the plains. This begins the most violent week of tornadoes in the outbreak. And this is the kind of day the storms will uh, are supercells, so they could produce one tornado, it weakens, another one forms, cycling as we uh, talk about it. And we could also get some long-lived violent and strong and violent tornadoes. The following day was deadly. So many really strong circulations and storms right now. This is the broader picture, and you can see this enormous line mm, of The initial mesocyclone produced in a strong tornado near Colonel's Junction has recycled and is now producing a significant tornado near Colton City. That is a warning until 9.15, and a really strong, very tight and strong circulation now showing up between a Jasper and Golden City. Numerous strong tornadoes tear across the plains, consolidating into a massive squall line during the night, which is on the path into Indiana. What's been a pretty damaging tornado outbreak today 
in parts of Missouri, Oklahoma, and Kansas is consolidating into a squall line, and that squall line is moving toward Indiana. The line of severe thunderstorms sweeps through the early morning darkness over Indiana, its presence given only by flashes of lightning. Widespread damaging winds accompanying it. As the storm approaches, wind gusts of over 60 miles per hour begin doing damage to nearby trees and power lines. Three days later, another line of severe thunderstorms moves through the state in the pre dawn hours, warranting many severe thunderstorm warnings as it progressed. These storms, however, were only a precursor. When the following day would see tornadoes of devastating magnitude tear across Indiana and Ohio in one of the most violent days of the outbreak. Asterisk by the Storm Prediction Center with High wind probabilities mainly, but also tornado potential even. Out of all the days of severe weather we've had recently in Indiana, this is the highest threat. As the Storm Prediction Center sounds the alarm for upcoming severe weather, the first wave of storms ignites over the Hoosier State during the warm and highly unstable afternoon. The first wave brings primarily heavy rain to the region, which falls on already saturated soil. But in the wake of this activity, a potent combination of unstable air and strong wind shear will lead to the formation of the most powerful storms on Earth, supercells. Soon, tornadoes begin to touch down. The trigger has been pulled. The outbreak has begun. Okay, radar confirmed tornado near Macy, Indiana. The National Weather Service in northern Indiana has issued a tornado warning for South Central Kosciuszko County, North Central Miami County, until 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 
8806 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Akron, or 11 miles east of Rochester, moving east at 25 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado. Tornadic debris has been confirmed by radar. As a large and destructive tornado continues north of Macy, additional potentially tornadic supercells move toward populated areas of Indiana. The outbreak persists in the sunset with tornadoes spreading toward the neighboring state of Ohio. The intense supercells during the late evening hours give amazing cloud formations, simultaneously beautiful and sinister. We are looking south toward a tornado warned thunderstorm that is moving through part of Clinton and Tipton counties. weather does not stop after the sun sets, as Indiana residents begin to assess the damage a potentially catastrophic situation is developing in parts of Ohio, where violent tornadoes roar into the night. We've had a tornado touch down in the Ferris Park last uh, several houses and ports of traps. Okay, so Park and then Dager, the Terrace Park will be on the other side. Dager, we're going to need somebody from the east or the west. Uh, none of those are going to be able to get through on this road. Like I said, we've got power lines across the road and debris. I imagine we're going to find more as we keep going south. Okay, I'm on field now. We have significant damage. I'm going to towards the interstate. There is a confirmed tornado on Vandalia, headed east. There is no rest in the southern Gray Lakes, as the following day brings even more severe weather into the area. Non-tornadic supercells and clusters bring wind damage to parts of the area. This ominous skies rush overhead.
The storms also bring excessive rainfall, leading to flooding. This May draws to a close. There will be one more day of severe weather for Indiana, May 30th, 2019. thunderstorms with amazing structures spread over the state during the afternoon hours. Severe thunderstorms produced several instances of damaging wind and hail in the region, although not as widespread as recent days. When the sun sets and the winds die down, the threat for severe weather comes to a close, as is the outbreak of May 2019. You can look at this. Look at this monster. You talk about a wedge. Holy smoke. Storms knocked out power to more than 60,000 customers across the state of Ohio. At its peak, actually, it was more than 80,000. All right, so let's talk about the details of this outbreak. And it stretches more than 1,200 miles. We're going from Idaho all the way to Ohio. There we go. 52 reported tornadoes. Now, we are going to go from Iowa over to Illinois and Indiana. Look at all the reports that we had here. We're going to focus in on Wabash County, Indiana. We had a funnel. It's hard to see on the right-hand side of your screen. A little bit of a white funnel dropping down. You see the dark behind it. That did not touch the ground, so it's not a tornado. But, of course, there will be plenty of survey teams out uh, here across the Midwest. Speaking of the Midwest, we want to keep you there and take you into Ohio, Salina, Ohio, where we had tornado damage. This is one of the areas everyone's been talking about. Uh, debris literally littering the yards and the driveways, at least a dozen homes damaged, seven people injured. They're still doing the search and rescue. You know, the tornado outbreak sequence of May 2019 resulted in over 300 tornadoes from Colorado to New York. The storms caused millions of dollars in damage and claimed their lives while tearing through the nation's heartland. Of these tornadoes, the damage near Macy, Indiana is assigned an EF3 rating on the enhanced Fujita scale, while Dayton, Ohio experiences damage of EF4 magnitude. Millions of Americans are also left affected by historic flooding over numerous states, 
a disaster occurring in tandem with the severe weather outbreak, which leads President Trump to sign a disaster aid bill to assist those stricken by the event. A survey of the damage left behind by the Macy Indiana tornado reveals the extent of the destruction stretched across parts of the Indiana landscape. A half a mile wide, the tornado destroyed two homes and hundreds of trees along its 14 mile path. Indicators of its ferocious winds are strewn along the trail of damage, reminders of the lives forever changed by the devastation left across the nation during the month. Even as the calm evenings and blue skies return to the region, the aftermath remains as a scar left by this historic event.